When confronted with new problems, human beings tend to use their innate creativity and design capacity to invent and realize something new, they innovate. It has always been like that, but today these everyday innovations are spreading, appearing in unprecedented forms and making themselves felt with greater force. Their diffusion and character result from the combination of two main factors. The first is, of course, the nature of the problems to be dealt with on different scales, including everyday experience. The second is the pervasive diffusion of information and communication technologies and their potential in terms of organizational change. In such a situation, it is likely that a growing number of people facing a problem also see an opportunity and find a new way to solve it. However, maybe what is happening goes beyond that. These people may not only be solving their own problems. In doing what they do, they may also be setting the basis of a new civilization. Social Innovation In 2005 in Liaozhou, Guangxi Province, China, a group of citizens found that they could not access good, safe food in ordinary markets. They went to villages, about a two-hour drive from the city, and found that traditional agriculture models, though struggling, still survived in the remote countryside. With the intention of helping these farmers and developing a stable channel of organic food, they founded a social enterprise, a farmers' association called Danong Hui. This story is one of the many collected by Fang Zhuang for her PhD thesis on collaborative services in China. For several reasons I find it particularly telling, it is a wonderful case of social innovation, in which a group of citizens and farmers imagined and put into practice an original way to solve their problems and open new opportunities.